In this video, uh, let's see practically how a default VPC is getting enabled as soon as we create a new project. Okay, so for that, let's get into our Google Cloud Console. So this is our uh, Cloud Console, the Google Cloud Console. So for that, uh, means in order to see how a default VPC is created or enabled um, initially, First of all, we need to create a new project because uh, anyway, we have few projects that's already created. Um, but as I said earlier, the default VPC is created as soon as a new project is created. I just want to show you how it is created, right? Um, so I'm just going to create a new project. Anyway, we'll be continuing our um, training with this project. It's like learn GCP in English and we have other projects as well, some test accounts and all. Okay, just to show you how a default VPC is created, let me create a new project. Okay, you can give any name here. Um, I'll just put GCP new ing. Okay, so I'll just put this and ing train. I just created. So now uh, the new project will get created in few seconds all right so it's now created so once it's created as you know that we, we we will be getting the notification here saying that it's it's done okay with the green tick so now if you come to the project section and if you click here the drop down menu you'll be seeing all the available projects and we can see a new project is created which we created just now right just select that i have selected it uh, if you remember in the last videos when we were talking about the default VPC or the VP overview of a VPC, uh, we have told that a default VPC is created as soon as a new project is created, right? Yes, of course, that's true, but um, there is a small thing that need to be enabled because see, we have created a project, but as of now, it's an empty project, right? So creating or enabling a network for an empty project is of no use. So in order to uh, make the project as an, uh, you know, the valid project, we need to at least activate some API, okay? Some compute engineer API, at, at, even if you're not, not a, if, even if you're not creating any resources, at least we need to enable an API to support that resources. Only then this project will come active, okay? So as of now, this is a empty project, right? So if you go here, and you can just go to VPC network. Okay, I have already pinned this so that it, it's coming here. You can just click here, VPC network, right? And you can just click here, or else you can directly come here and you can search in the search bar as well, VPC network. Okay, if you see here, right, uh, it, it's telling that data could not be loaded. Additional action need to be resolve any issue. All right, so. Uh, let it be but if you see here right this is the page of the vpc network and by default though we have created a project we don't see any information here any information about the default vpc so far right which means that the project is created but still the vpc the default vpc is not yet enabled because as i said the project is empty now so we need to at least enable some api to make it active or uh, we are informing GCP that we are going to use it in use it and it's not an empty project. Okay, so to do that what we can do By default it should automatically redirect you. Yep, as I said, right? It will automatically redirect you to enable this API the compute engine API the resource API Okay, so once you enable here and if you again come back uh, to the, uh, you know, uh, the, the VPC page, we'll be seeing a default VPC is created. All right. Just click enable. And this API, uh, it, it's mandated to enable it so that you can use any resources. All right. So as of now, we are not using any resources or any compute engine so far, but we are just enabling the API. So once you enable the API, then the project will come alive until then that it is just an empty project okay so usually by enable as, as we are enabling this api in this project for the very first time it would take uh, some time as like some two to three minutes uh, to get it done 
so just to avoid uh, you know time delay i'll just pass here for now once it is enabled i'll just resume it all right now it is enabled okay it is enabled and it's automatically redirected me to the vpc page because this is the page we have uh, opened earlier right so earlier we have opened it but as the project was empty earlier it was asking us to enable some resources to make the project active but instead of resource uh, enabling we just activated the api at least right so it redirected to that page and we have um, activated the api and as soon as it's activated if you see here we are seeing a default vpc okay earlier we don't see any information here there was nothing here okay so once we enable that uh, compute engine api immediately we have seen this default a vpc is cr getting created okay so this is the if you, you can also come back here okay it, it is part of vpc network fine so let's get into this and also see uh, if you see here networks in current project is default and this default network has 40 subnets or 40 sub networks okay and uh, maybe uh, we can just hold this about hold the uh, other things like the mtu mode gateway firewall and all for now let's discuss about that later in the upcoming videos in detail uh, we are just going through uh, or it's just a walkthrough of how the default vpc looks like all right fine and also if you want to see those subnets you can just come here click here the subnets in current project okay so these are all uh, the subnets that's part of that default vpc uh, if you remember we we mentioned us like in the earlier uh, slide i mentioned us like it's a non-overlapping subnets each region will be having a non-overlapping subnets right so if you see here uh, there will not be any overlap okay it's a non-overlapping subnets and it is created automatically we are not creating it anymore in the default vpc the subnetworks will be automatically created all right not only subnets uh, there are few other parameters also like uh, firewalls with the basics uh, basic rules will also get uh, automatically created in the default vpc fine so you'll be seeing uh, the name of the vpc here as it's a part of a default vpc you are seeing all this uh, you know regions or the sub networks are coming in the part of default here it is mentioned as default because again as it is coming under the default network this is named as this sub network is named as default <laughs> and um, uh, it will be coming with the slash 20 network by default and you can uh, you know make it till slash 16 also you can modify as per your requirement okay and these are all uh, means these are all the gateways for this particular subnets fine so as i said earlier uh, means we will be discussing more in detail we'll be uh, getting deep dive uh, we'll be discussing more in detail about other components like you know the ip ranges firewalls everything it's just an overview or an walkthrough of the uh, default VP vpc okay fine so you can just come here also and if you want to change okay maybe i'll just show you how to change it as an overview uh, so overview as i said right uh, means you'll be having a multiple things like firewall rules routes peering you know private access lo lo lot and lot of things are available here we'll be discussing it later okay you can just come to subnets the same subnets whatever you have seen earlier right it will be showing here and if you want to modify anything you can do it like uh, for example if you want me to change i can just change the first one uh, okay so this is 10.128.0.20 right it's a part of us central one region it's a slash 20 network uh, as i said we can make it to slash 16 also maybe for testing or to just a demo purpose i'm making it slash 19. i'll just see so it's it's getting saved so once it is updated then you'll be seeing uh this particular subnet was updated with slash 19 all right so it's still in progress all right it's done now uh if you see here it, it is saved okay and also if you click here uh we get a green tick right which confirms that it's done if you come back and see here it would be getting updated from slash 20 to slash 19 okay so this is how you can modify the subnets 
all right you can add as well okay we can modify the subnet suspended requirement um, and uh, there are some default firewall rules we'll be discussing in detail uh, but still uh, it's just a walk through okay so these are all the default firewall rules that are allowed uh, rdp traffic ssh icmp and so on okay and it's it's not only uh, from the gui you can also access through the cl as well the shells okay F to that you, ca you need to just click here for the very first time when you click here you need to activate it first of all you need to activate the shell and then you can uh, you know access uh, the cloud using the shell as well okay uh, maybe i can just you know i don't want to continue here at the bottom maybe if you want you can just open an another tab so for that you can just click this button it will open the same shell in the other uh, the next tab okay it would take some time for the very first time to get it uh, you know activated and loaded then we can so this is basically the shell of our uh, google cloud console earlier we have access the gui right so uh, using gui we have uh, gone through uh, you know uh, how our vpc network looks like and what are the subnets and all you can also check the same using uh, the shell as well like um, you know g cloud g cloud compute and um, uh, and one more thing if you don't know the next command right as like how we put question mark in the network devices you can also use the tab button if you use the tab button here it it would list out all the available uh, options next to that point okay so i have just used a tab next to compute and if you see it list out all the available options here like okay so even if networks is available here okay anyway just we are uh, you know uh, exploring about the networks let me just give networks only here uh, all right so okay so instead of ne only networks let me list out okay it's asking me to authorize let me authorize here all right it's authorized so i'm just listing out i'm just using a list command i'm just um i'm seeing all the available networks that is part of this project gcp new ink train okay so um as you know that we we don't have any more uh you know other vpcs we just have only the default vpc right so that's the reason here you're seeing only the default vpc if in case you have other vpcs created like a custom vpc or few more vpcs you have created you will see all the informations about the available vpcs here okay so as of now we uh, we are just going through the uh, default vpc and uh, we don't create any any new custom or any new vpcs right so that it's just telling me that uh, currently we have only one vpc that is a default vpc and subnet mode is auto uh, but yes it's an auto because we have seen it right when we uh, get into that subnet uh, it created a non overlapped subnet for all the regions that's available okay fine and uh, g cloud so basically what it is giving is this information so this information only it is giving it's showing okay you can also um, what else compute networks as i said you can use tab or if you want to specifically create uh, specifically um, you know have some requirement you can use that like um, you can also create new networks you can delete the existing one you can create new subnets out of it whatever that we are doing with the gui we can also do the same uh, using the cli or the shell mode okay fine so let let's uh, check the we are, uh, we are not going to create anything uh, new here because as i said we are just walking through so but uh, let's let's check the subnet as like uh, how we did in the um gui okay mm, maybe let me put list it will list out all the subnets basically this one like uh, when we create this it list out all the 40 subnets that's assigned for this project right so basically this is what the command we have did and it list out all that right if you see the last one is africa south one okay if you can just go here and africa south one should be part of here see africa south one 10218020 right 10218020 so basically it list out all all the available subnets under that network and if you remember we have modified for the subnet for one of the uh, 
you know uh, one of the subnet right Le let's see that uh, it's a slash 19 uh, i'll just scroll down a little faster scroll up all right see so this is the very first uh, subnet that's your central one we have modified this subnet from uh, slash 20 uh, to slash 19 so it's it's getting already updated here all right so like this you can um, you know do whatever uh, we want it's like mean to say all the options that is available in the GUI is also available in the CLI we can use both fine so this is all about um, your uh, default VPC okay fine and uh, also uh, and also means uh, we were discussing as like we were telling a default VPC is created again and again right it's not that mandate as like um, there may be some requirement or a scenario of uh, there may be some requirement from your project that there should not be any default VPC should be created so for that also be, there is an option as like uh, even though a new project is created and you are enabling any resources uh, to make sure that the project is not empty uh, you know uh, we can restrict creating the default network for that uh, we need the first point the first criteria for that is we need to have an organization account uh, but in the test account or in the practice account we cannot do it but in the organization account it is possible so you can go here in the search option just search with the option as like uh, policy or organization policy organization yep here if you see here right just click it and it will give you all the organization policy list and you can just search as like um, disable default network creation something like that yep skip default network creation so if you click here okay if, if you click here which means it, it's telling that skip the process of creating the default vpc okay so uh, as i said it will not be working in your uh, the practice account but if you have an organization account with that uh, you can check it so with the with your organization account if you try to create a new project with this option enabled then a default vpc will not be created we need to create the manual thing if you click here i can show you yeah see it's telling you don't have an organization policies all right so this is all about the uh, you know high level understanding of um, the default vpc and in the upcoming videos let's explore more and we'll understand about this all these topics in depth